everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So following on from the double D card that I made, I when I was making that towards the end, and I saw another style card within that card and I said, oh, that'd be actually quite nice to do. And that's what I've done. So this is five by seven size, very similar to that one, but I am going to revisit this in a six by six size and I'm going to change the style and make it less decorative, let's say, because this one I have gone over the top. So you'll see on the front here, this gorgeous topper belly band. For me, when I do this kind of style, it is the envelope. So I would hand deliver it like this. But if you are posting it, then pop this in a box envelope and I'll link those up here and that will keep it obviously all protected. Slide off the belly band. You can see that lovely embossed detail there. And then when you open it up, you have this fun panel card. And like I said, it's over the top. So I have gone mad with the decoration here, but I think it still works really well. And I think it's just a really nice style to show off from, in my case, these florals. But you can also have, you know, more decorative, busy papers. And then maybe a nice larger stamp sentiment on this side. And then a stamped image that maybe you've coloured on the other side. So you don't have to go crazy with the decoration like this. And like I said, the 6x6 six six version will be a little bit more simplified. But it's a very, very simple card fold. You don't need any specialty dies for this one. And I think it's just going to work great for so many occasions. So I've used supplies from the Paper Craft Society box 41. This has been designed by Chloe from Chloe's Creative Cards. And you can see the stamp set that I'm going to use there, all the different flowers. I'm using the medium and the small. And then you've got the coordinating dies there to cut those out. And then you've got these die cut like glittery um, swells and leaves. So I've just taken a load of those, which you'll see in a minute. And I've taken the papers from this kit as well. So for the card itself, you want a piece of 10 by 7, okay? And along the 10 inch side, you're going to score at 2.5, 5 and 7.5. And so it's a really easy one to adapt the size. Whatever size you want your card to be, just make sure you've got four equal panels. And that's pretty much it. And then this panel size, you can have any size you want as well. So this piece for my card is 7 by 3.5. Along the 7 inch side, you're going to score at 3.5. These two pieces on the top here are three and a quarter squared. And then I've cut these pieces in white. I might change these, I'm not sure. And these are using stamps from that kit. And these are three inches squared. And I've just stamped them using, that colour was Peacock Feathers, which match this cardstock. This is the Sizzix A4 cardstock that I've used here. So it's about a two, 220, something like that, I think. So for my panels inside, I've got these pieces here so again these papers they're all paralyzed they're all from the kit and I'm going to have the two floral designs in the middle and then the kind of watercolor pattern here on the outsides so these are all two and a quarter by six and three quarters and then two by six and a half for the pattern pieces I think having all your panels all the same would look nice as well but keep it if you're going to decorate like I am with lots of flowers and you might not want to have such a busy background. So I am still unsure whether to have something a bit more muted. OK, so I've stuck all those down for the fold. You want to fold the whole thing in half and then you want to fold this side out and then this side out. So you've got a W shape. So this is going to sit right across the middle here. Now it's up to you how you have this positioned. You can have it quite far out, so you've just got a slight kind of triangle shape. I like it quite far in. So I'm going to have it, I reckon it's about half an inch from the outside here to this teal colour here. It's about half an inch. And then like I showed you at the beginning, you can then decide whether you want it to be folded like this and you decorate this side. Or you can have it like this in the envelope. I think it's really cool. So I'm going to just add a little glue down each side here. And it's up to you where you have this. You could have this towards the top or the bottom and you might want to have more kind of, you know, of your design kind of built up around the top and popping out. So, you know, have a play around with it. I think it's going to be a nice one for many occasions. I'm going to just place that one down like so, get that where I want it to be. And then if you just concertina fold that all down, like so, and then just wrap it around and you know then you've got it perfectly, you know, lined up on the back. 
Okay, and now when we open it up, you've got that card shape. Now, because of how far in I've stuck mine, although it's a five by seven size, it's actually coming in at the moment four by seven. But that's good because I've got that one inch now to play around with my design because it's going to overhang, you know, and then when I add in some more flowers here and the leaves and things, it's going to kind of wrap around the happy birthday. And then when you open it up, it's, it's just going to fill into this space here as well. So for the flowers, I've embossed them all using white embossing powder and then to colour them to match the papers here, I use Selvage Bettina with Peacock Feathers. So the darker colour there is the peacock feathers and then it goes out lighter into that salvage patina. And then for these ones here, I use the milled lavender and then seedless preserves. I'm going to actually use my um, inks here to keep it open like this because that's how I need to have it to be decorated. Just bring in another one there. There we go, that's better. So now I've got that all flat for me to be able to add the decoration. So I'll just lay them roughly down where I think I, I want these to go. So just roughly something like that. I'm going to add some of my Nouveau drops into this as well. I've shaped them all. I just used my bone folder just to shape it over the edges. And then this particular flower, it cuts quite far into the centre. So you can really lift up all those petals to give it some more dimension. So these are the leaves that come in that kit already pre-cut. But when I was laying them down before I started filming, they kind of get a little bit lost with the pattern behind it. So in the die set, you get this, you get a die that cuts this leaf out and you can actually back, if you flip them, I think you need to do it, yeah. I'm not gonna stick them all behind it like that, but just to kind of have it a little bit offset, but you can now see those leaves oh, a lot better and actually quite like that effect that it gives. So once I start adding those in, it's going to fill more of this white space and then the Nouveau drops. I think it's going to bring it all together quite nicely. So I'm going to get that all stuck down and then I'll show you it when it's all finished. So this is the finished card. So you'll see there that beautiful topper on the belly band and then I've embossed the silver card there using my linen embossing folder. When I tend to do these belly bands, because they're quite 3D, this for me is the envelope. So I would hand deliver it like this or if I was posting it, I'd pop it in a box envelope. Slide off the belly band and then you'll see when you open it, you have this completely over the top decoration. Now I know this isn't going to be for everybody, but I am always a more is more kind of girl. But I think if you, you'll see I changed the papers because the two here were quite busy, I thought against all of this detail. So I think if you want to do something that's a bit more plainer, less busy, then I would do patterned, you know, more of a patterned or detailed paper in the background and then have a bigger stamped sentiment in one on one side and then a stamped image that maybe you've coloured on another side. And I'm actually going to revisit this on, and do a six by six size and do a more simplified, less decorative style. And that way you can see the two then. You've got your space on the back here, these two panels to stamp and write your message. So you just cut yourself a couple of, um, you know, panels to stick there. And like I said, you can also fold it this way. And then you wouldn't need the belly band that could just go into an envelope or a box envelope, depending on, you know, how you've decorated it. But I've added some of the jewel drops, Nouveau jewel drops there. I've added the swirls as well, just to fill out the space. And I've also added in a couple of butterflies there. 
So yeah, throwing everything at it, but I think it's really, really pretty. I think it would look lo lovely with a big number, big birthday number, and then just a big happy birthday or something there, or anniversary. I think that would look lovely as well. I think it's a great one for many, many occasions. So as always, thank you so much for watching today. I will link as much of the product that I've used today in the description box below this video. I'll also have some other similar kind of fun panel style cards coming up now. You might want to watch those next. And if you've enjoyed today, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and that way you won't miss out on any future videos. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.